the story of the Nephilim, the sons of God, was right before the flood. So it's like these, these events are not disconnected. This is leading toward the flood. You know, when you grow up in church, you don't really hear anything about the flood except for people were really bad. Okay, what does that mean? Obviously, it's a, it's a perspective thing. So what does it mean really bad? Like, why would God destroy the whole earth? There's a reason why God flooded the earth, okay? People don't understand that God didn't just flood the earth because the earth was full of evil, the end. Okay, when you read the book of Enoch and you read the book of Jubilees and Jasher and you read these other ancient texts, you get a more clear understanding of why God flooded the earth. God flooded the earth because there were no more humans left in it. Noah and his family and his sons were the only beings that were pure in generations, the Bible says. That means genetically pure. They were the only ones left that were pure genetically. They were the only humans left on the earth. Everybody had already interbred and mixed in with genetic, angelic, animal, hybrid, DNA, mixed things. Most of the people had been corrupted. They had this, this, this sons of God. They had this angel DNA. They were, they were giants. And then according to the book of Enoch, they were like cannibalistic. They were, they were horrible. This was what we call the seed of Satan, okay? The seed of the serpent. The Bible talks about the seed of the serpent and it talks about the seed of, of man. This is what it's referring to. These animal, human, hybrid, angelic, perverted creatures of God's perfect genetics. A question that often, often gets asked, if God flooded the earth to destroy the Nephilim, how were there Nephilim afterwards? Well, I think that this is an interesting question. And there's actually a lot of differing ideas and quite a lot of debate on how this actually happened. Some people believe there was like a second incursion that the angels came back and did it again. Some people believe, yeah, there was some kind of a, a science-y thing they did. They did some kind of a witchcraft, some, some, something to bring them back. When Noah's sons chose their wives, they may not have been pure in genetics because they weren't the only ones that were pure in genetics, like the Bible had said. They may have had distant, distant Nephilim, angelic DNA spread, bred into them in some way because the Bible says that the Nephilim were there in those days and after. So somehow the Nephilim, some remnant of them, survived the flood, okay? And that remnant came on the boat with, I believe, Noah's son's wives. And they were reintroduced into society via genetic Putnam Square random chance that a giant was born out of one of their, their children. And that giant became uh, its own tribe of people and took over the whole promised land. Because I believe there was a second incursion. The angels did it again. If you read in Genesis 6, 4, it says, the Nephilim were in those days and also afterwards, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men. So before and after the flood, when the sons of God came to the daughters of men. For me, it's hard to believe in the second incursion theory because I believe that God flooded the earth literally to end the first generation of giants. And if there was a second incursion, then that would just bring back the giants again. So I think it had to have come from the genetic gene pool and also it mentions in the book of Enoch that Michael's talking to Raphael about how the pun punishment that God put on these first initial angels that slept with the women, um, it was such a severe punishment. Anyone's heart that hears about it would be softened by it. And basically that uh, no man nor angel shall ever partake in their portion of judgment or punishment again. And also mentions how his reins are not troubled, meaning like it will change your direction knowing this punishment was so severe for these angels that no angel would ever do it again. However, I do believe there is attempts to try to recreate the, the fall, and I think a lot of satanic practices are just that. They're trying to entice angels to sleep with women again, and a lot of these satanic rituals. So I don't believe any of the angels have ever done this.